Welcome to everybody to my review of Gravity Wars 2. Let's begin. First things first, this is a sequel to the original Gravity Rush on the PlayStation Vita. So it's kind of a miracle that we get to have this game on the PlayStation 4. But it is really due to its cult-like following of fans. So let's start talking about graphics. As you can see, this game is beautiful. Now this is the positive things. The graphics is very good. Very colorful. Uh, it's got a nice kind of like cartoon anime look to it all. That makes it really pop. And it definitely catches your eye. I mean, just just look at it. It's very pretty. And it it stays true to sort of the original one. But it, it somehow, it just looks so much better. It, it really makes the PS4 looks beautiful. When I seen this game, I was like, damn, this is a good looking game. The second positive thing we're going to talk about is gameplay. Now, the game is very similar to the first one. In which you'll be flying around, using your gravity sifting powers to throw objects at enemies and do fighting but the side missions and challenges do a good job of adding sort of goofy ways to use these abilities to make some fun scenarios and there's also two new abilities I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys but the two new abilities are really cool when they are introduced and it's quite fun to use them number three is the story I love the characters. I mean, I love uh, Cat, uh, Lisa, Waven. Uh, there's some cool new characters in this one. I don't want to talk too much about the story, but we'll just say you can see, you can just see right there. I mean, there's some pretty cool cutscenes. Most of the story takes place in a comic book style cutscene, and it, none of it's voiced in English, which is I don't know why, but I really like that. It's just like the first game, and the story does a good job of moving forward staying entertaining it does get a little slow uh, in the middle but it picks up a lot near the end it does get complicated and there are definitely some plot twists so the story is very good now it's time for some negatives particularly the camera controls I don't know if you can tell I'm kind of used to it but the controls for the camera when you are particularly flying can be annoying especially in boss battles and it takes time to get used to uh, the online, okay. There are some online components of like taking a picture, sharing with uh, other random players, stuff like that. The online mode is, is really kind of weird. It, it can be fun to mess around with. I would have much rather seen a co-op challenge mode online. The third final negative is there's a part of the game that involves you mining. And like you go down into these mines and you can collect items and the items give you like slight benefits but to be honest with you I barely messed with any of that I just got most of my items from playing side missions challenges on an XP through the story just getting stronger so there's not much of a reason to really mess with that sometimes when you are flying around like you just recently seen then you might see some pop-ups it's kinda like you you can fly so fast so fast the game won't be able to window some stuff but it only happens every once in a while overall this is a good game I mean I greatly enjoyed it I pre-ordered and I, I definitely not let me down I will probably have to give the game an 8 out of 10 and I recommend it to anybody that enjoyed the first game for sure get you guys later